is it. The final poop pipe on board Rum Punch. And we are very happy to see it fly. No! <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Sailing Rum Punch. Last episode, Ben did an epic job with removing the heads. So keep watching as we continue to take her apart. We're heading to the recycling centre. We've got a car full of things, including holding tank, toilet, bag of pipes. Oh, speed bump. Um, this big box is full of all the pipes which we've got, so we're just going to get those down to the centre. The holding tank is still full of, well not full of, it's got a bit of liquid in it. There's a bung in the end. I, I want to try and save the bung, but I don't think we'll be able to. You can see the toilet as well. All going down the recycling centre. It's all very precariously held together with gaff tape, so we're praying that you don't get covered in poo. <laughs> it always ends up with me covered in poo. <laughs> you are so close to it. The smell is really starting to kick up now, so we're just going to be nice and quick and get this dumped off. We've probably got a couple more hours left of work before we have to head off to work, so we'll see what we can do. Big rain clouds coming as well, so I think all work on deck will stop when we're back and then we'll focus on doing some... I think we're just going to do a massive tidy up. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Put everything Absolutely. back to where it belongs, hopefully, so the next time we come it isn't a massive... Yeah. I think we should leave it in a relatively, a relatively good, tidy, um, smelly state so that we can come back and, and start again the next project, whatever that may be. Thunder! You did say there was a storm coming, didn't you? Yeah, there was supposed to be storms, so... I kind of wish this was see-through. This was transparent, so I could see through. It's absolutely pissing it down with rain outside, so we're going to take this opportunity to see if we can spot any leaks. Now we know there's a leak on this chain plate. Which is why we've got the blue roll, but that's it's not a big leak, so it's just gonna be. We're gonna, I'm gonna need to grind out the hole above it. Oh. Hatches dry, got port lights nice and dry. You're not dry, are you? I'm a bit wet. So, okay, we've got the floorboards up, it's an absolute disaster down there. It's a disaster in here, actually. We're gonna need to, we're gonna have to take all of this out. I can't wait. So here we are, scrub, scrub, scrubbing away. Ellie's, Ellie's version of putting on work clothes is putting on my clothes. So that's all good, isn't it? That's now my poo shirt. Because that's. It what is a poo shirt from yesterday. It's my poo shirt from yesterday, so she's using it to with her poo shirt today. <clears throat> and my Star Wars top is my poo shirt today. <laughs> and it'll be poo Ellie's poo shirt tomorrow. That's how we roll. I just never have showers, apparently. You just don't shower. But, you know, here we are, we're cleaning poo. Why shower before cleaning poo? Right? There's nothing that disinfectant spray can't, in my opinion. <laughs> so, it's our last weekend on the boat. We drove back from Southampton last night and we have two more days worth, well, a day and a half, I think, worth of work left to do. And then we are not able to get back to the boat until um, October. So it's lovely and sunny and hot. Beginning of July right now. So I think the next time you see us, we'll be bundled up. <laughs> so we want to remove the reflex stove today. That's going to be a fun job. So we're going to investigate the diesel tank see what all the pipes coming out there do, trace those, disconnect the reflex, and then hopefully get that out so that we can lift the floorboards and get the water tanks out. It would be really handy to get the water tanks out so we can get really good access to the bilge that needs a complete and utter clean and a paint and everything before the tanks go back in. 
once we've got started on the reflex, I think once we've got Ellie started taking that out, I'm going to take the shelving out in the heads because we've got big plans for that heads and we just want to do some measurements. So I'm going to take the shelving out. Um, so we've got a complete blank canvas to start from. So it's going to be a fiberglassy demolishing day today, which is always fun. Let's do this! Another beautiful day on the boat. First things first, gonna go and empty the uh, port locker in the cockpit to get access to the diesel tank. And with that, we're gonna try and locate where the reflex stove goes to, unplug that, and get that bad boy out of here. So today, we are gonna be taking out this wonderful heater. It's kind of a little bit intrusive in our space that we wanna create in this saloon. Um, I think eventually we will get something a little less big, but um, for now, it's not really what we need or what we want. Let's do this. We're in the process of removing the diesel tank and we've just loosened something and now it's leaking diesel. Oh, it's about to get stopped then. Well, it started to drip rather than run. Now it's running again. Stopped. Yeah, yeah stopped. What did you do? I found another tap. Well done. Ha! Huh. Trial and error. Covered in diesel, right? Eh? diesel we've managed to gather. Oh, did it. Oh. So I'm just going back to work in the cockpit. Oh my God. Oh Jesus. This is a hell of a mess, this is. I don't even know where to start. Babe, do you wanna go for a pint? Yeah, I'm in. <laughs> Ow! The hard hat as well. That. When you've got no food on the boat, so pretty much we're into the tins of things now and half of the stuff we actually found on the boat, so it's not out of date, so I'm kind of hoping it's okay. But today's breakfast is going to be anchovy fillets on rice cakes because that's literally all we have. <laughs> So salty. Cheers. Time has come to remove the shelf. I've got to be careful I don't cut the wires. I was going to try and sort them out first, but I think we're just going to get this whole unit off. Are you ready? I think I'm ready. I've got ear defenders, goggles, mask, suit. I just need to get some gloves on and then we're good to go. If you didn't hear that, he's ready. <laughs>
incredible work today. The heads is completely different. We've got the shelving out, I've cut that all out. The cables are all dangling down. We've got these panels on the side of the wall, which we're gonna take out now. And then we're gonna really know how much space we have to work with. Had a delivery of 525 litre jerry cans on the train diesel tank so that we can remove it. We need to remove the engine, we take the diesel stove out, there's lots of diesel going everywhere in this boat so we want to make sure the tank's empty so that any residual that comes out we know isn't going to drain the tank. Let's give that a go. As you can see, there's no access to the top of the tank here. Um, so to drain it, I'm gonna have to get the deck fill pipe out and then I'm gonna stick the hose down there. We've got a 12 volt electric pump, so we don't have to siphon it, which makes our lives a hell of a lot easier. So I've managed to actually get to a battery to a little access hatch by the diesel tank instead of having to take up the whole of the cockpit sole. So that's an absolute win because taking up that it is really difficult, I don't fancy it. So this is a much better option, and she works. Let's get pumping. This is the deck fill hose that I'm gonna take this clamp off, hopefully get this hose off, and then get the pump in there. So we have the pump here. Annoyingly, this power cable is a bit short. So it is just want to pull this way, which pulls the hose out. And this hose is really coily, so I think inside it's just going to hook around like this. So, but before I attach some sort of stick to it to make sure we get in there, I just want to see how it works. It's going to come out of there, through the pump, out of here, and into this jug. So let's see how we get on. Fingers crossed. Today. Scrape it all off and then we can sand it. We have run out of time unfortunately on board Run Punch. We have to go back to work for 15 weeks and we can't come back to the boat. Um, we're all over the country so there's just not a chance to get back unfortunately. We're in a really good place. We've completely dismantled the heads. We've got half of the saloon out, the carpet and the table have gone, and the diesel tank is drained, which is a really good position. So when we get back in four months time, we've got a really good head start on what we, do, we need to do next. Our main focus is going to be rebuild the heads and the saloon, possibly replace the diesel tank and redo the electrics. It will be going into winter, so we can't do anything outside with the hull. Um, so that'll have to wait till spring. We've now got quite a lot of time as well to start, sort of start designing and getting some ideas down. I've taken loads of measurements recently so we can kind of put something down on paper and get some ideas going and flowing and 
see what we come up with. Yeah, so we've got some exciting times. It's quite nice that we've got a big chunk of time to think about the design and what we want to do with it and watch some videos and read some books about how we're going to do it. So when we come back, we are really clued in on what we're going to do. I so. think if we stayed on board right now, we could find ourselves in a bit of a pickle. Yeah, like I think we just keep dismantling things and then end up with an empty shell of a boat and we don't want to do that as no. much as it's as tempting as it is. So, for now, that's it. Let's call it a day and we'll be back in 15 weeks. See you in four months. See you then. <laughs> don't worry, we'll see you in two weeks. No more rum punch for another four months now. It's hard. It's our home.